Good day, and today we will be talking about probability. Probability is the ratio of the expected results and the total possible results. Probability is equal to expected results over total, total possible results. So let us proceed to example 1. A die is rolled. Find the probability that an even number is obtained. So, in a die, there are 6 total possible outcomes. 6 C1 is equal to 6. And in a die, there are 3 even numbers. That is 2, 4, and 6. So, our, there are 3 expected results. So, the probability that an even number is obtained is 3 over 6, which is also equal to 1 half. Let us proceed to example number 2. What is the probability that a card drawn from a pack of cards is a queen and is red? So for the total possible outcomes of this problem, since we are only going to draw a card from a pack of cards, the formula is 52C1, which is also equal to 52. And for the expected results, since there are two red queens in a deck of cards, the formula is 2C1, which is equal to 2. So the probability that a card drawn from a pack of cards is a queen and is red is 2 over 52, which is also equal to 1 over 13. Third example. Two dice are rolled. Find the probability that the sum is equal to 5. So in this problem, the total possible results is equal to 36. Because in the first die, there are 6 ways. And in the second die, there are also 6 ways. So, 6 times 6 is equal to 36. And for the expected results, there are 4. Because um, there are 1 and 4, 2 and 3, 3 and 2, and 4 and 1. So, the probability that the sum of 2 dice that are rolled is equal to 5 is 4 over 36, which is also equal to 1 over 9. Example 4. A die is rolled and a coin is tossed. Find the probability that the die shows an odd number and the coin shows a head. So for the total possible results, there are 12. For the die, there are 6 possible ways. And for the coin, there are 2 possible ways, which are the head and the tail. So 6 times 2 is equal to 12. So it could be 1, one in each, 2 in each, 3 in each, 4 in each, 5 and H or 6 and H or 1 and T, 2 and T, 3 and T, 4 and T, 5 and T, and 6 and T. So the probability that the die shows an odd number and the coin show, shows a head, the expected results is 3. 1 and H, 3 and H, 5 and H. So the probability is 3 over 12, which is also equal to 1 fourth. Example 5. 3 coins are tossed. What is the probability of getting at most 2 heads? Since there are 3 coins, the total possible result is 8. In each coin, there are 2 possible ways. So 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8. The total possible results are tail tail tail, tail tail head, tail head tail, head tail tail, tail head head, head tail head, head head tail, and head head head. So, the expected results are 7. Since we are looking for the probability of getting at most 2 heads, only the result of head 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 is not included. So, the probability is 7 over 8. Example 6. 2 cards are drawn from a pack of cards. What is the probability that the cards drawn will be brought on our cards? Since 2 cards will be drawn from a pack of cards, the formula for the total possible results is 52C2, which is equal to 1,326. And there are 4 honor cards in each suit. So, the formula for the expected results is 16C2, which is equal to 120. So, the probability that the two cards drawn from a pack of cards will be both honor card is 120 over 1,326 which is also equal to 20 over 221. Example 7. A jar contains 3 red marbles, 7 green marbles, and 10 white marbles. 
If a marble is drawn from the jar at random, what is the probability that this marble is white? So for the total possible results, we are going to add the number of marbles in the jar, which are 3, 7, and 10. So the total possible results is 20. Since there are 10 white marbles in the jar, the expected result is 10. So the probability that a marble drawn from the jar is white is 10 over 20, which is also equal to 1 half. Example 8. Tickets numbered 1 to 20 are mixed up and then a ticket is drawn at random. What is the probability that the ticket drawn has a number which is a multiple of 3 or 5? Since there are tickets numbered 1 to 20, the total possible results is 20. And for the expected results, there are 10, which are 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18 for a multiple of 3, and 5, 10, 15, and 20 for multiples of 5. So the probability that the ticket drawn has a number which is multiple of 3 or 5 is 10 over 20, which is also equal to 1 half. In probability, we also have addition theorem. Here is one example. A jar contains 5 red balls, 6 blue balls, and 7 black balls. What is the probability of selecting 2 balls of same color? For the total possible results, since there are 18 balls in the jar, and we are going to select 2 balls, the formula is 18C2, which is equal to 153. For the expected results, waste for selecting two red balls is 5C2, which is equal to 10. For the blue balls is 6C2, which is equal to 15. And for the black ball is 7C2, which is equal to 21. So, the probability of selecting red balls is 10 over 153. Probability of selecting blue balls is 15 over 153. And probability of selecting black balls is 21 over 153. We are going to add them up because they are independent events. So, the probability of selecting two balls of same color in the jar is 46 over 153. Example 10. Two cards will be drawn from a pack of cards. Find the probability that both cards are face cards when the first card was put back before drawing the next card. So for the total possible results, since we have 52 cards in a deck of cards, the formula is 52C1 which is equal to 52. Since we have 3 face cards in each suit and we have 4 suits, there are 12 face cards all in all. So ways to select the face card in the first draw is 12C1 which is equal to 12. And since we Put back the first card before drawing the next card. The way to select face card in the second draw is still 12C1, which is equal to 12. So the probability of selecting face card in the first draw is 12 over 52, which is equal to 3 over 13. And the probability of selecting a face card in the second draw is 12 over 52, which is also equal to 3 over 13. So the probability of drawing two cards, which are both Face cards when the first card was put back before drawing the next card is 3 over 13 times 3 over 13, which is equal to 9 over 169. Example 11. A jar has 5 red marbles and 6 blue marbles. Another jar contains 4 red marbles and 3 blue marbles. One marble must be drawn from each of the two jars. What is the probability of drawing a blue marble? The probability of selecting from either of the jar is one half, since we are going to select from one of the jar from two jars. So, ways to select blue marble from the first jar is 6C1, which is equal to 6. So, the probability of selecting blue marble from the first jar is 6 over 11, since there are 11 marbles all in all, times one half, which is equal to 3 over 11. So, ways to select blue marble from the second jar is 3C1, which is equal to 3, since there are 3 blue marbles in the second jar. So, the probability of selecting blue marble from the second jar is 3 over 7, since there are 7 marbles all in all, times 1 half, which is equal to 3 over 14. So, the probability of the two events is 3 over 11 plus 3 over 14. We are going to add them because they are different 
events, meaning they are independent. So the answer is 75 over 154. The probability of drawing a blue marble from either of the two jars is 75 over 154. That is all for probability.